<laughs> Speak the speech, hmm? I pray you, as I pronounced it to you, trippingly on the tongue. But if you mouth it, as many of your players do, I had as lief the town crier had spoke my lines. Nor do not saw the air too much with your hands thus, but use all gently, for in the very torrent, tempest, and as I may say, the whirlwind of your passion, you must acquire and beget a temperance that may give it smoothness. Oh, it offends me to the soul to see a robustious periwig painted fellow tear a passion to tatters, to very rags, to split the ears of the, the groundlings, who for the most part are capable of nothing but inexplicable dumb shows and noise. I could have such a fool whipped for overdoing termagant, and out Herod's Herod, pray you avoid it. I warrant your honor, sir. Good. Be not too tame, neither. But let your own discretion be your tutor. Suit the action to the word, the word to the action, with this special observance, that you overstep not the modesty of nature, for anything so overdone is from the purpose of playing, whose end, both at the first and now, was and is to hold as it were the mirror up to nature, oh, to show virtue her own feature, scorn her own image, and the very age and body of the time his form and pressure. Now, this overdone or come tardy off, though it make the unskillful laugh, cannot but make the judicious grieve, or well, the very censure of the which one must in your allowance or away a whole theater of others. Ah, oh, there be players that I have seen play and heard others praise, and that highly, not to speak it profanely, that having neither the accent of Christian, nor the gait of Christian, pagan, nor man, have so strutted and bellowed that I have thought some of nature's journeymen had made men, and not made them well. They imitated humanity so abominably. Oh, uh, I hope we have reformed that indifferently with us, sir. Oh, well, reform it altogether, and let those that play your clowns speak no more than is set down for them. For there be of them that will themselves laugh, to set on some quantity of barren spectators to laugh too. Though in the meantime, some uh, necessary question of the play be then to be considered. That's villainous, and shows a most pitiful ambition in the fool that uses it. Go, 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 go make you ready. Uh, how now, my lord? Will the king hear this piece of work? 